Do you ever wear clothes? Hey everyone, um, I, uh, I wanted to give a quick update because I'm not, okay, I had uploaded a video basically, um, the other day saying that I didn't know how far along I was, I thought for sure I was probably around six weeks, four days, or five days, something like that, almost seven weeks, so, I don't know exactly, because when you have a baby, your cycles are all messed up and everything. So, I mean, obviously, if your cycles are messed up, you can ovulate at any time and just not know it. So, um, yesterday, I went and I called the doctor's office for my blood results. Because I wanted to know exactly how far along I was. Or at least in the, obviously, they can't give it in exactly, which I wish I knew exactly how far along I was. So, I mean, I'm hoping that maybe one of you guys know something about this, because color me stupid i've tried looking at the charts and i just am not i'm just confused so um i i called and the nurse was talking to me and i'm like well where are my blood levels at and when i say that i was just like how far along would you say i am and she's like oh your blood levels are at 31,000." yeah i have no idea what that means <laughs> so like okay you're talking to a stupid person here how far along would you say I am and she's like well you're kind of falling into two categories and she wouldn't tell me what the other category really was um but she said that if she had to go by the numbers that she thought I was about eight weeks pregnant so eight weeks pregnant so I started looking up online the charts and I'm like I I, I don't know if they have a different chart or how she got that but I don't get it. I just, I started looking up all kinds of stuff and I looked up the number and then I was reading that someone else that was in the 31,000 was 9 to 12 weeks. So I was, I saw that they were like, well, you know, like this ex were said, well, 31,000 sounds like you're 9 to 12 weeks. And I'm like, for the other woman who was 31,000 some odd count. And I'm like... I'm starting to do the math on the on the calendar. I'm like, I was just so confused. I'm like, when was it? Because I can't even think when, you know, in my, all right, so in my phone, all right, I have what's called my days, all right, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's my days. And you can tell when you start your period, when your period ends, when you had sex, your BMT, when you took the pill, ovulation, high fertility, you know, stuff like that. So I go back to January, and this was just a guesstimation, because I don't think I knew exactly when I started in January. I don't know. I think I was guesstimating. I'll tell you what, I just don't know, so... I have that the 18th is marked, but I did not definitely start on the 18th. I have no idea when I started. I think that was just from December. I knew that on the 24th uh, I was on it, but I don't remember exactly when I started. The problem is, okay, here's the problem. I had a different app that I was using for this. And everything was correct in there. And that's what I was using. And it told me when I could and could not have sex. And um, some for some reason that app stopped working. I forgot what it's called. It had a little woman's face on it. But I will never recommend that. And I would, it just it stopped. And I completely screwed it up. And that's probably how I got pregnant. Is because I then had to try and figure out, okay, so... I know that I have a period on Christmas Eve, but now when did I start it? Be right on Christmas Eve, right before when? I mean, so yeah. I just I don't know. Does anybody know how to read one of those charts? Thirty-one thousand. I'm probably more than that now, because they say they double every every couple days. So that was a few days ago. So right now I'm going at eight weeks. So we'll say I'm eight weeks right now, and I just that's. Uh, 
it's up in the air. It could change, but from what she says, I'm eight weeks. So that was actually further along than what we thought. Like I said, there was a chance, but I didn't think I was sitting further along, which I must have been wrong. So <clears throat> anyway, so we're gonna go with eight weeks. Um, I am showing a little bit. I'm not gonna show my belly today because I'm still in my like Halloween shorts and I just I have uh, I'll show it next week so um, eight weeks I will tell you my symptoms but no belly shot I am so sorry maybe next time um, I definitely have the morning sickness it kicked in hardcore a couple days ago and they like I said they prescribed me a prenatal and they also prescribed me an anti-nausea medicine I forgot the name of it it is a new drug and it's supposed to be amazing class a where it's supposed to be completely healthy for the baby my husband went to go pick up my prescriptions yesterday and he calls me he's like i want to make sure you want me to pick this up i'm like okay i'm saying why wouldn't you pick up my hand i'll see i'm sick and he's like it is 291 dollars and that is after insurance i'm like no no I will one deal with the morning sickness too. I got an over-the-counter anti-nausea medicine and sometimes that works. So I did that with Annabelle and it's safe. Anyway, so, all right, this is what I use now. The anti-nausea medicine. So it is cherry flavor and the taste alone makes me want to vomit. It's just because it's so sherry. So, but you have to take it 15 minutes before you drink anything and wait 15 minutes after before you drink anything. Which sucks because I'm thirsty. And so, yeah, I was reading the uses though, guys, back here. And I'm like, huh, the uses. And it's like, all right, it says, <clears throat> uses. Relieves nausea due to upset stomach from intestinal flu. Okay stomach flu and food or drink indiscretions so for those of you who aren't pregnant and want to drink it up anti-nausea medicine right here for the hangover so <laughs> I'll tell you what I've had a hangover in my day and stuff like that never worked I still threw up everywhere so and wait so yes i have no breast tenderness whatsoever i tmi coming um gassiness definitely um that's the most pain i have with the nausea and i'm extremely and always tired and so and i try to take a nap with my son every day and sometimes it doesn't work because I have three other children that like to be loud well two of them out of three like to be loud so just in case you guys did not know I does say pregnant with baby number three that is baby number three for me uh, to have the baby I, I have stated in the previous videos that this would be my seventh pregnancy but this is my baby number three I do have two stepsons, so Corbin and Ian, so that is also in the intro, so this is going to make five kids for us, and, you know, I'm starting to get excited, and, yeah, so, I wanted to update you guys, there's not really much to say, I was just curious about the levels, so any of you guys know about the levels, it's at, well, when they took the blood about three days ago, uh, it was at 31,000. And from what she said, it falls into two different categories, and she would guess eight weeks. So, if you guys know anything about that, please tell me, because I want to know. I would like to know, and I won't know exactly how far along I am, probably until April 2nd. That's my next doctor's appointment. And so, excuse me, I just, this is the first time I've been pregnant and not had an actual, like, date i know i'm doing october even at eight weeks i would be doing october but i don't know i um here's hoping i don't know i just please if you know anything tell me 
because like I said, I'm not the smartest person in the world and looking at charts and stuff, it just gives me a headache. So, all right, well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, video and if you have, don't forget to subscribe. We will be starting daily vlogs and I've got other Disney, uh, trips from Disney I'm going to put on here. I put it on my other channel, but I'm going to bring them over to this channel and then continue uploading. There's four videos there. And then we will uh, start doing our daily vlogs, challenges, and what else? Challenges. <laughs> ah, and tags. I know I do have a tag coming up. I was tagged in something. I just have to wait for that video to come up before I can actually do it myself. And then also, if you guys have anything, challenges, or anything you want to see us do, let us know. And we will try our hardest to do them as long as they're not too early disgusting because I will throw up. Alright. So, don't forget to subscribe like I said before. And follow me on Blogspot, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll leave the links down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.